I'm not afraid of strangers in the night when my father is the light. Oh, I won't change to your ways. Your ways will surely end my days. You was made wrong, I was made strong. Now your days are finally numbered. Can't you see I give Baba TV this song? So Satan, go back where you belong. I don't want to sin no more. Sins don't get you to heaven. I don't want to lust no more. Lust won't get you through heaven's door. People, what do you want from me? Should I turn my back to the Lord and let the devil take control of me? Then I would get no salvation. I want to explain to you. Baba TV's always in my corner. And this is what they said to you. Fire. You should love one another. Peace and black power. Welcome to another edition of Baba TV. House of Consciousness back in the building with Ross Brother Akanai. Yes. I'm on the bead man. Otherwise said, you know. You know, when George Bush was president, you know, I used to work the construction industry. Hard work, all day, every day. So I'm like, am I a slave or something? Get up every day so willingly, go to work. You know, we've been underpaid. Can you know how that thing goes when island people come here looking for better? You know what I'm saying? They kind of confused and day, so they'll do anything. So, you know, I'm working in construction, you know, a few hundred dollars a day, plumbing, concrete, carpentry, whatever. So one day, you know, it dawned on me about the sun. I was like three yards of sun to one bag of cement. I'm like, wow, why so much sun? Where the sun coming from? I remember in Jamaica, I used to go to the beach. I used to make sun castle. When, I was, when we were small like this, we had more sense. Because it never dawned on us to remove the sun from the beach or the ocean and bring it home. Now why all these rich tycoon, real fake estate destruction, construction industry digging out all the sand from the ocean floor? The waters are deep. And what's at the bottom of the water? Sand. Now ask yourself this question. Why is water taking course all over the world? It's looking for sand. Sand belongs at the bottom of the ocean. We keep digging up the sand, digging up the sand, building up these big, I don't know what to call them, box up, box up building. It's not harmony. It's not harmonious to nature. Just look how the indigenous people live, people of old, ancient civilization. They never use so much sand. This is the only point in this, on this earth that people use so much sand for building. It's too heavy. The whole northeast corridor is overpopulated, overconstructed, and they keep digging the sand out right over this or somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. You see what Texas did? They sell all the granite, all the sand, to some fancy made-up island somewhere in the Gulf. You see what to them? The water rushed them because there is no sand to hold back the water. This is a big problem with every single human on this planet. Because I'm quite sure, you know, living in our boat house, our straw house, we all live in our concrete structures. So we all are guilty. All of we are guilty. It's an aberration on the planet. So don't be so surprised when all this water keep rushing us and coming for us wherever we live. Sand want to go home and water want back the sand. Check the longitude and a line from Texas all the way back to Bangladesh. If you have a globe in your house, put your finger where Texas at and where Bangladesh at. It's the same longitude and a line and it runs a straight line right across the globe. I mean, we don't know the science or the geology behind it, but it's mind boggling. Why these two places flooding out at the same time? Both of them is on the same longitude and line when you go around the earth. And if you place a finger right here in Bangladesh and right here in Texas, it's a straight line. My madman mind tell me, say, the pipe bust. And the waters are coming. And the waters are coming for us all. Do you know how to swim? Do you know how to fly? Do you have a submarine? Do you have a ship? What are you going to do? 
waters are coming and the forces of nature do not give a fuck if you're black, white, pink or chink. It's coming for us all. Because we dump up swampland, build up big concrete, heavy structures, tons and tons and tons of concrete, tons and tons and tons and metric tons of sand, and they're removing it from the ocean floor. Sand is foundation. It's at the bottom. The bottom is deep. It does not belong on land. So when these waters are coming for us, please don't bother bust your brain and wonder why. Water come back for our brother, which is the sand. It's at the bottom of her. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something I figured out while working construction is always three yards of sand to one bag of cement. Way too much sand. Why couldn't be the other way around? Three, three bags of cement to one yard of sand because it's way too expensive. There is no shortage of sand on dry land, but you don't know what? The desert sand is not sticky. It's going to take way more water to produce the matter. Enough sand is on the earth if you do building but these construction destruction re fake estate real estate dudes they just want to make money the sand is free they just go out into the ocean and violate the ocean we pollute the ocean we do all manner of evil to the ocean and then we wonder why we're having tidal waves tsunami all these monster hurricanes three of them at once water is upset so it's winding wind don't blow wind wind w-i-n-d is winding East, west, north, and south is a wind, it's not winding. It's a spell word, figure it out. Wind go like this tornado, hurricane, this is the way how it go, winding. So, these windings that are coming for us, it's not by coincidence, it's all by design. This devil man go around the earth digging up all kind of stones, all kind of foundation for the planet. It's no great mystery why you're having all these earthquakes. You take out all the oil from the, the earth, it's, it's hollow ground now. So when the earth go like this and crumble, tectonic plates are shifting because once again we're fucking with the sun. The sun is heavy and it keeps the continents apart. No, that is just my take because I went to high school and I do physical geography. So I have a vague knowledge of tectonic plates, the core, the mantle, the oceans, longitude, latitude, physical geography, map reading geography. So I'm not totally ignorant of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? The rest of it is intuition. Because I stopped reading books a long time ago. Come I blow my brain throughout the whole 90s, year 2000, 2001, here comes September 11, dead man's zone. So I stop reading books. Because you know the judgment I come. And we still keep fueling these forces, supporting these industries that is about our total and utter destruction. You know what I'm saying? Just look at the way how we dress now as a people. The shit is messed up. And we're not getting the thing right. You know what I'm saying? We, we care about more now about how we look and we don't care about how we feel. Have on thousands of dollars of jiggy, jiggy monkey clothes and you don't feel good. What the rock? What's wrong with you niggas? What, what's wrong with people? If you tell a grown man years ago he would be dressing like this today, he would say, no man, me not wear them something there. You have man now concerned with coming outside and them actually fix them clothes to make them pants sag and show them ass. That's not gangster. What's up with niggas? You know what I'm saying? You have man now, I go buy jeans pants, and you look on the label, you see 60% cotton, 40% spandex. What the hell a man have to do with stretchy jeans? What the fuck is wrong with us? I mean, black people not born with the RH monkey jeans, but them infested with the monkey jeans through the fashion industry because the shit is so tight and contortion in some kind of way that niggas gotta be walking like this, like a goddamn monkey. So now them give you monkey jeans for walk with. The shit is sick out here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you see young people do them young people dumb shit, it's alright, because I was young too, you know what I'm saying? But when I have a grown man of a certain age, 40 something, I try just driggy, like these young people wearing these pants with knee pad and tight up, tight up. What are you doing? Are you doing flooring job? You need knee pads, you're on your knees, you're praying. What are you doing? Check out the message behind the design of your clothes, big man. You know what I'm saying? Man need for man up and start wear pants again and get out of these goddamn jeans. It's not good for us. You know, that's just my take. In case you are wondering, I'm the man that always make 
quality, luxury bathing jewelry for men, women and children. I don't sell things made in China, that's not black power. Look up and down Harlem. 95% of the artifacts that's Afrocentric are red, gold and green, red, black and green, things with Africa map, things with Afrocentric looking things. It's all made in China. That's not black power niggas. Going down to 28th Street, buying these inferior goods, things with the ank on it and selling it back. That's like prostitution of our goddamn culture where the Chinese man give a fuck about Africa. When him give a fuck about an ank. Him just make a whole heap of junk shit from when one inner Harlem to the next. You see people wearing cheap fucking anks that is made in goddamn China. Why the hell we can't make that for ourselves? I came from Jamaica to America and when I came to Harlem there was no shortage of black people making red, black and green. Everything. By hand. You know what I'm doing you now? You're goddamn lazy with a goddamn stupid smartphone. I don't have one. Come in and call nobody. And nobody can call me. <laughs> stupid people's smartphone. You don't even have a memory. Stupid you know what I'm saying? Smartphone. You understand me? I remember what Baba TV did last year. This day. He bought this from me. The first time him see me. He buy a bead from me. He have it on one year now. And nothing happened to it. We need to start doing things again. We way too goddamn lazy as a people. I made this. Cool. Creative forces of will at work. At least mommy I do something. I made this on my You head. see? Creative forces of will at work. Broads are way too lazy. Everything on a have on is made by some Chinese woman. On a jewelry, on a clothes, on a goddamn hair. You can't even paint on a nail anymore. A Chinese woman have to do it for you. So what's so awesome about an Asian woman and a black woman. Everything where a black woman have Asian woman make it. I bought some supplies. I'm gonna make more. Go ahead, mommy. You know I what make, I'm saying? I make, I make these. Broads are way too goddamn lazy. You don't need to get up and learn how to sew happy, again. Happy you know what I'm saying? Last learn forever. how to wash your hair again. Learn how to do your own hair. Right. Learn how to braid your hair. Listen Stop putting head. this dog hair on your goddamn head. Right. It smells bad, love, That's and it right. don't look good. That's right, he's right, he's a thousand it's percent It's ugly, right. walking around with all this pink green hair like annoying something is wrong with you. Care. It's he annoying. What talking about. When the right. rain falls, you all smell. When you smell like dog, puss and cat. I grow with animals in Jamaica in the country. I know what animals smell like. When the rain falls, I can't take the bus and I can't take the train. Because you have women smelling like dog, smelling like cat, smelling like fish. What the fuck is wrong with you, broads? The black woman is God, and so what? What are you doing with yourselves? You're walking around this place like a goddamn sex demon. Your personality is your goddamn phone right. and your sexuality. What's up with your substance? What kind of children you think you're going to make? Through the centuries, black man fight for you. And now you, you are the black man's greatest enemy. When it's going down, who is going to fight for you, love? Any man with an ounce of decency or an ounce of intellect, Right now, he must preserve himself. He's not going to put his life on the line for you no more. Because you're into this Babylon system and this court system and this child support system. And all you know I do is a conspiracy to destroy men, especially men of color. So my advice to man, if you consider yourself a man, you better preserve thyself. Because in the future, there will be no more of us. The dominion of men has came to an end. In the future, if you consider yourself a man, there will be no more of us. Look at our young people, look, look at our young boys. Think it's hip to tell the other one, suck my dick. What kind of shit is that? If I did any shit like that when I was younger, my mother would have killed me. What's wrong with us? Our greatest problem now is ourselves. Back in the day when we hear the song Self-Destruction, I was like, I do not like this song. When me hear the rap music from Rap City self-destruction, I'm like, oh my God, I hate this song. Because that song wasn't for then. That song is for now. The soundtrack of our life. Black people is just all about self-destruction. We as a people has become a haven for everything that is unclean, immoral, sexually immoral. And then we wonder why we sons are so sissified. Why your daughter is so brolic. These are not even real homosexuals, they genetically manufactured lesbians, they're not real love. Lesbian are lesbian long time. You can't straight last year and this year you is a fucking boy. 
craving all kind of pum pum like you don't have one for yourself. What the fuck is wrong with you? I ain't no conformist man. We ain't going to sing kumbaya and hold hands. We all ain't getting along. Because I ain't down with that shit. You understand me? I am Jamaican. I'm true to my core. I am a maroon. The worst slave ever. Ask England. Why the fuck you think we speak like this? It's broken English because we break the English. Mm. You understand me? We break the English. We are camouflage. What channel are you going to be on? Give it to Should I give you a flyer just now? You understand? Yo, Jack. Black people need to wake the fuck up, get the fuck up, get up off of your left side and put yourself on your right side. Black All people right? stop buying hair, buy, make your own real hair, grow your real hair. Yeah, it's stop disgusting. Stop making the China man rich, buying fake hair. It's not good for your love, it smells and it lose doesn't look your, good. Lose your identity. It's smelly. Yeah, I'm wearing it and because it's my hijab, You're not I'm supposed to walk the street and I smell woman. Black woman supposed to smell sweet like baby powder and, 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 and cherry blossoms and stuff like that. I know where women are about. I have 11 sisters and from 1979, I'm going to stop watch girl pitney. And when me look what's going on in the world now, it's like, wow, what's wrong with these girls? You no longer have a waistline. When I was going to school, all fat girls have 23 waists. <laughs> when me I go high school, all the fattest girls, her waist is only 23. Her hips are all the way out here, and she have a small waist. So some fat woman where you say, no, no, a fake fat woman, no, not real. Because fat woman fat long time. You obese. That's your problem. They eat too much junk. When 7 o'clock comes, it's not pizza time or sandwich time. It's dinner time. Feed your children some rice and chicken, something. You give them goddamn pizza and then you wonder how them so fuck up and how them so unruly. Because you are what you eat. You stuff them burger and pizza when dinner time comes. They are going to act like a goddamn burger and a pizza. Ross. Anyway, on a lighter note, in the blessed and holy name of our great Nita Asar, son of Jeb and Nut, children of the majestic Amon Ra. Praise be to Father Ra as Atum Kefara. The sunshine over our, fr or over our face is like a day. So give thanks for the day, Baba TV. All time fire. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Enter the Sandman. You remember the song? Mr. Sandman, send me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. The sun is the judgment on the planet. Too much heavy building. Stop digging up the ocean.